with a golden orange color and a sweet fruity taste that will please your taste buds. Let's look at growing the sun gold tomato. Now to get a head start to the growing season, I'm starting my seeds indoors in mid-Jan and the last frost date in my area is about end of March. So that gives the tomato plant some time to germinate and grow in these uh, small containers before transplanting them out. So all you do is mark your plants and then sow the seeds and then I am growing my tomato plants and some grow lights it's just a regular fluorescent light and the tomato plants will germinate and will grow a little bit under these conditions and when it's mid-feb it's time for the tomato plants to go into somewhat larger containers now i'll give you a little trick here you see these styrofoam cups these make excellent containers for the tomatoes while you're transplanting them now I got these styrofoam containers for very cheap at the dollar store. I paid about a dollar for like 20 or 30 of them. So it's a great way to set out your transplants and make sure that your glass, your styrofoam cups have holes in them and then just transplant your plants into them. Now instead of transplanting your tomato plants into larger containers, it's better if you let the plants grow to their full potential in these small containers and then transplant them into bigger containers later on. So as you can see here, we have transplanted these two tomato plants and you can do the same thing for all your tomato plants and you buy about a few weeks, like four to six weeks before you can transplant them in your garden. Now these cups are also very good options. These are transparent cups. Again, I got them from the dollar store for very cheap. I paid about a dollar for like 20 or 30 of them. And the advantage with the transparent cups is that you can actually see the roots of the plants growing inside them. So it's a neat little trick to use. It's cheap and it works very well. Now, once you've filled up your cups with any kind of potting mix, I'll shortly show you what you need to use for your potting mix for larger containers as well. You just transplant your tomato plants into these cups, into these transparent cups, and they will be happy to grow inside these cups for quite a long time. Now you can bury your tomato plants a little deep and they will still grow pretty well. I'm just gonna keep it till here at this level and then just fill the sides with some soil and that should be good enough for these tomato plants to grow. Now in the beginning of March, you can transplant your tomato plants into somewhat larger containers. Now I'm using a mix of peat moss, vermiculite and compost. And this, in my opinion, works really well for a potting mix when you're transplanting your tomato plants. This is a really good mix to use. So all you do is prepare your mix and I'm using slightly larger containers here, slightly larger compared to the cups that I was using. And I like to make the potting mix a little moist before I put them inside the transplanting pots. And all you do is take your tomato plants from the containers, the, the transparent containers. You can even see those roots here very clearly and it's now time for them to go into these bigger containers and once again by transplanting them into these slightly bigger containers you're again buying time these tomato plants will be happy to grow in these slightly larger containers till they are ready to be transplanted outside so this is a neat little trick that you should know that while you're waiting for your garden to start in march you still have your tomato plants grown and ready to be transplanted so eventually in April, I have transplanted my plants and they've grown pretty big. You can see that within about 15 days to a month, it's pretty good growth. Now that's one thing I really liked about the sun gold tomatoes is that they're very prolific. They grow pretty well, maybe not as prolific as some of the other varieties like San Marzano or some of the other early tomato varieties, 
but still pretty good. And the best part about growing the Sun Gold tomatoes is its taste. It's got this really nice, sweet and fruity taste that you'll absolutely love. And you can see that the foliage has developed pretty well now in the beginning stages. And here is a little pruning tip. When growing this plant in containers, I usually restrict the tomato plants to one or two shoots at the maximum. And then I just remove all the suckers or the extra growth that's coming from around the branches. Now, if you're growing them in the ground or in raised beds, I don't really feel there's a need to prune them unless you're seeing dead branches or dead leaves that you can prune easily. But in containers, I will highly recommend that you prune the plants very well for optimum growth. So it's June and the tomatoes look ready for harvest. I'm going to harvest a couple of these tomatoes. Now, these are not fully ripe tomatoes, but the first tomatoes I usually harvest are the ones that ripen on the shelf. This looks like a pretty ripe tomato. And you can see the texture is pretty good. And it's a nice looking cherry tomato. Now, if you want to get the best tasting tomatoes, the most flavor flavorful tomatoes, you need to let them ripen on the wine. And you can see these tomatoes, these are pretty ripe. They've turned into an orange color. And this is pretty much the perfect time to harvest your tomatoes. And you're going to get the best flavor out of them. <music> This is quite a productive plant. The sun gold tomatoes, they're quite loaded when it comes to the months of June and, June and July. You'll see that the plant is loaded with tomatoes, lots of tomatoes as you can see here, all ripe tomatoes on the vine. And the best part again about this tomato is its flavor. It's just amazing flavor. Here you can see all these harvested tomatoes. And as always in my videos, I'm going to show you how they look like when they're cut open. So here are some ripe sun gold tomatoes with the characteristic golden orange color. And they're pretty decently sized as well. Although they are cherry kind of tomatoes, I think some of the tomatoes that I got were pretty large as well. So let's take one tomato and see how it looks like from the inside. So let's cut open this tomato. And at the first instance, you can see that it's very juicy. It's juicy and it's so sweet, it almost tastes like a fruit. So there we have it, sun gold tomatoes, one of the best tomatoes that you can eat raw in your salads. And by eating more raw foods, you will definitely lead a much healthier life. It's uh, one of the best tasting tomatoes that I've ever grown. So I highly recommend that you try out this tomato variety. So I'd like to know from you, my YouTube viewers, have you tried growing this tomato variety before? And how do you like it? Do let me know and I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening. Mm -hmm.